Hello, I'm ABX Toycat and welcome back to another video. Today I have some Black Ops 3 for you all for the first time in quite some time actually and the reason for that is because a lot of you have been requesting it and I figured since I'm doing this different game Wednesday or whatever we actually end up calling it that it would be a decent opportunity to play some Black Ops 3 multiplayer. So I'm not just playing any Black Ops 3 multiplayer where I tell you about how much I love my KN44 as I use it and kill some people. Instead what I figured I'd do is I'd show you the weakest weapon in the game, I'd try and make a class around it and then we'd see how well we can do with it. And yeah, that's what we're doing in today's video. I very much appreciate a like on it if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me you do like this different game content stuff and want to see more of it but let's get straight into it shall we so let's start by talking about exactly what the weakest weapon in the game is and it might surprise you to learn that it's actually the haymaker 12 so you might be like no toy cat you're entirely wrong haymaker 12 is a solid weapon and i like it a lot and the, you know you, you, you can't not like it just because it's the weakest weapon but the thing is by the damage and by the numbers this is the weakest gun because if you compare it to a kn44 or a you know some decent submachine gun it actually has the same amount of damage because it kills in three shots up close and four shots at a distance and sometimes a little bit more of that at the very edge of its range but mostly three to four shots to kill right and this is about the damage you get from an assault rifle uh, you, obviously the shotgun has the advantage of being able to fire lots but it means that because the uh, Haymaker 12 has a full auto fire rate that is really slow for a full auto weapon then it means that the KN44 can kill faster at close range than the Haymaker can it means the KN44 can kill faster at medium range than the Haymaker 12 can and it also means that at long range the KN44 can actually kill people whereas the Haymaker 12 cannot so the big trade off there is that obviously those other weapons can't just hit fire and you know kind of spam the fire there to get those four shots down but it does mean that you need to be really careful with this weapon to make sure you're dodging fire as well as you can and yeah that's what we're doing so in case you are curious as to how we're going to make this weapon even worse if you put the suppressor on there too you're going to lower the range by 30 percent and it means three shots is basically knifing range four shots is the bulk of your range and then seven eight something like that shots is something entirely possible at the very edge of your range so yeah entirely ridiculous but that's the gun we've got going on here let's see what we can get done so i've actually got second prestige so we'll put a kill counter on there this is our terrible weapon actually let's make it even worse with a uh, weird uh, red, red dot reflex this is our terrible weapon let's see what we can get done so usually the interesting thing about shotguns in uh, this game is aiming down the sights especially on the haymaker not really so important because obviously if this gun's killing in three shots or four shots you know if you can change the four into a three it's probably not worth the time of aiming down sights but when we're changing a seven shot kill into a four shot kill for instance which is probably the likely impact it might actually be worth adsing so that quick draw of drip might help us out and that red dot sight might come in useful I, I really doubt it especially the one we've got but still that's the uh, that's the dream we're gonna hope for so to kind of add to the fact that uh you know the can 44 like any assault rifle is i'm, I'm choosing this as my example uh the, to add to the fact that they're more powerful than the haymaker 12 as a shotgun it has no headshot increase which means you know whereas uh, you know the other weapons you can always be aiming for their head to get that a little bit of skill element with this gun it's just shoot at the body, hope all the bullets hit, and bounce around as, as fast as you can so they can't hit you. It's a, it's a very bizarre idea for a weapon, and I do think it's quite interesting. I think what is uh, especially interesting is when you compare this to full-auto shotguns from previous games, it seems to be this weird medium where I think they wanted it to be a weak weapon compared to other guns, so there has a similar time to kill, or a slow-firing weapon. Because if you look at the AA-12 from Modern Warfare 2, which was a shotgun secondary, so you could have this with a primary, it'd still you know have a really fast fire rate that would be just about on par with a slow-firing SMG, which means that it'd have a time to kill which could about do that stuff also they'd always have one shot kill ranges whereas this weapon seems like it's cleverly designed for consistency not just for the you know the person using it where three to four shots is just about consistent the consistency of people being killed by it so if you're being killed by this you can't be like well it's a noob gun because the reality is you know you probably could have killed them faster than they could kill you if you could aim your gun you know better than they can aim their shotgun and that's the interesting thing we're doing a charge here with a silent shotgun which is something i'm not too sure is a uh, entirely brilliant idea. There we go. We found someone. Let's hope we can actually get them before we get snuck on. <laughs> and there we go. That's our first kill. And I think there's a guy just inside there, right? I did see that. Yeah, I did. So that's four shots to kill. Admittedly, one went through a wall. And that's a that's a fifth shot to kill. So you can see already we're killing in several bullets. That guy's going to bounce up here too, right? No, he's going to go through here. What's what's? Oh, jeez. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's um, that's our Haymaker 12. I honestly really like this weapon. Even suppressed, I feel like it's a pretty decent amount of fun. <laughs> Are we on a four kill streak already? Uh, uh, trying to trying to prove the weapon's bad is going to end up with... Oh. That, see, if that, that was any decent shotgun, that could have got me free kills. Y you can see there, like, the time to kill really comes in relevant with multi-kills in this weapon because there's no collateral damage on um, shotguns. So if you shoot through someone, it's not going to shoot uh, ghost next person, which means if there's three people there, I would have been better off with an assault rifle just being like, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Whereas there it was like, yeah, I'm just kind of firing and hoping that no one notices me. So, 
yeah, we're on six to one right now <laughs> with the self-proclaimed worst weapon in the game. I'll take that. I'll take that indeed. So obviously the big benefit of using the suppressor is it doesn't just lower the range and the damage, etc. It actually gives us the off the radar thing, which isn't worth trading all that damage for usually. But since we're doing it for the sake of a worst gun, we actually do have the benefit of being slightly harder to spot, which I think is kind of interesting. And actually, given that the suppression in this game is like kind of one of the, uh, you know, most uh, damage removing or like you know it, it gives you the biggest penalties what i'm trying to say if any suppressor of any game that means that the shotgun suppressor which is just about the same for all the games is arguably better than it was before i mean it's a big push to say that also <laughs> see what i mean there like i lost a close range gunfight because he just oh and he hit fire too so yeah you even even if you're at close range you can lose some gunfights like that so it's, it's weird that you end up with a shotgun that's really good at close slash medium range, except when the suppressor, it's like as close range as you, uh, you know, as you can be whilst they're getting a free shot kill, but then also, oh Jesus, there's someone right behind me, <laughs> but then also trying to be as far away so they can't just hit fire you. It is a very bizarre situation, and uh, we have a hunter killer that I think we should use before we get another one. Is it called the hunter killer in this game? Uh, whatever it's called. And yeah, I have some really weird connection issues um, recently. You might notice it jolts around every now and then. So let's just hope we don't get killed as a result of that. Um, try and hit this guy with his blast shield, and it's not going to work. <laughs> oh, no, he, it was the other guy with the blast shield. So, yeah, we went one for one on that one because we got killed while using it. It's funny, I, I actually used to be uh, the Dart or the Hunter Killer Drone or whatever it's actually called in this game. It's actually a gun I think I'm getting pretty good with. Like, I've regularly been getting, like, you know, four kills of it, and I think that's a useful thing. So we've got our specialist weapon now, and I figured the best pairing for the weakest weapon in the game would be the strongest weapon in the game. So I have the uh, the specialist, um, it's called the Annihilator, I believe. Is it, is it the Annihilator? Yeah, the, the, the one-shot kill pistol, which is funny because we have a four-shot kill shotgun that's sometimes like a seven-shot kill, and then we have the one-shot kill pistol, which is always a one-shot kill, which, uh, <laughs> you know, it seems like in real life those uh, roles might be a bit reversed. But yes, uh, there's always this argument of realism in games, and I always like to, you know, make the jokes like, oh yeah, the, you know, shoot someone in the foot four times, they die. But I guess the truth is, like, if you wanted a realistic game, what would happen is, you know, you'd be shot once with a pistol across the map, you'd be like, ah, that hurts, and, you know, your axe would go down. And no one actually wants that level. And, uh, because at some point you're just arguing, like, how realistic you want the game to go, and, oh, there we go, oh no! <laughs> All those bullets and still no kill. That's kind of crazy. So, let's just use this uh, Annihilator. I'm not actually that good with this pistol, because... Oh, never mind. I, I thought that was a collateral, but not quite. Uh, because I usually, when, when you get a weapon that powerful, you want to run around with it. And I guess maybe that's why we've been doing so well with the uh, weakest weapon, because we're so unconvinced by its actual direct power that, you know, like, when we're, basically we have to position ourselves better, and a lot of Call of Duty isn't gun skill. Like, even if, you're, even if like, it takes you a full second to kill, if you can get behind someone and it takes them more than a second to turn around, then it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you're killing people, that guy's just too far away. Uh, and yeah, that's something worth bearing in mind. There should be a second guy in here. I don't know where he is, though. I guess he jumped out the front window. Yes, he did. Uh, glad I got some fire support there, because I would have been dead otherwise. But yeah, so it's, it's really quite interesting, uh, the fact that it is so position-based. And it, it, I guess that's something you should probably uh, check out. So if you if you are looking at this weapon, you're like, I'm never going to use this, maybe it's worth using to train you to use a more powerful shotgun. Because if you use a silent shotgun for a long time, you get used to it that way, then you'll be less risk... Oh, you'll make less risk... Rest, less risk, sorry, with, uh, you know, the non-silence version. And I think this might help my uh, regular haymaker performance. So yeah, that's, that's the dream. I mean, obviously it could just not be that way at all. But uh, I like to believe it's going to actually help me out in some way. Because then I'm not just torturing myself and using a terrible weapon just for the sake of it. Please don't be killed by someone. Man, I, I, I don't like the Hellstorm anymore. I, I don't know if they actually did a nerf to it or if it's just my opinion on it. But like, uh, every, like, or a lot of games have been trying to get the same feeling from like, the, the Modern Warfare 2 Predator Missile, right? But that, that's what pe uh, games are going after. But I feel like they've been getting weaker and weaker because it sucks to be killed from the sky. I think we just shouldn't have missiles that insta-kill people like that. I think you should just say like, oh, one guy on the enemy team died. And then not kill them. I don't know if that's something actually possible to do, but uh, <laughs> it's it's something that I'd like anyway. And and speaking of that, actually, uh, well, one thing I wanted to kind of uh, bring up at some point, and this video seems as good as any, is kind of the trend of Call of Duty and first-person shoot games in general. Also, I was too busy looking at the the audio file to notice that guy right in front of me. So I'm sorry if I had slow reactions there. But I've noticed a lot of like the trends is like. People are getting better at the games, and everyone can't be good at the game. Like, in this lobby, I'm going 17 and 9. Jeez, that's actually pretty good for a pretty weak weapon. Um, but, you know, even though I'm going like that, that means someone has to be going 9 and 17. Or there's, there's negative 8 deaths on their team, which means not everyone can be doing those amazing games. 
But as the game progresses, more and more people think they should be doing those amazing games. Also, this is going to be a really tricky maneuver. Let's see if we can do it. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, everyone thinks they should be doing the amazing games. And since that becomes more and more as the game goes on, I think what's going to have to happen is there's going to there's be a big scandal at some point where a game makes you play against bots that you think are human. So that's four kills. Let's see if we can get a fifth. I believe we can. Okay, so we just go through here. There's going to be someone. There he is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, we actually got one kill. That's good. Five kills with Dart. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. I, I really do think the Dart is a better kill streak than a lot of the higher up ones because although it takes some skill to use, it's really risk free kills except when you die using it, which I actually did the first time I used it this game. It's kind of risk free kills and you can actually get a lot of them if you learn to use it. So that's a pro tip right there. Um, this this gun really is actually quite well suited to all of the insta kills. <laughs> How many shots did I land on him there? Okay, we can count here. Oh, that was only two, I think. Uh, I guess they must have landed for me, but they weren't real hit markers. They were fake hit markers. So yeah, I guess that's the thing. This guy is just not a hit. So, you know what? Let's just do this. Oh, man. Man, I want to see this from his perspective. So you just see me coming. I'm shooting in there. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about, where a, a gun can actually kill faster. So that's... I'm sure I've raised that point several times. Uh, they get headshot multipliers. They get this. They get that. This gun is all about positioning. It will teach you p p position yourself better in the game. And I think that's quite cool. So we're heading close to the end of the game. We're at like 70. Also, that was just ridiculous. Never run through the open there. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think that actually be a scandal at some point where a game uh, has like, you know, basically bots on the ladder with human players. I think that Black Ops 3 might have that because a lot of people like this game more than previous games because they're doing better and stuff. And I think obviously only so many people can be doing better. And you can put that down to, I don't know, skill based map making or the lack of or whatever. But I think the real truth is there's like probably bots on the online because when you play against bots after a certain point, it becomes hollow. But if you mix them in with human players, which, um, they actually experimented with in Black Ops 2. They had a playlist that was 50% bots, 50% players, and they made it obvious as to which was which. But in the game, you couldn't necessarily... Did I get a double kill? Uh, but yeah, uh, you can't necessarily tell in the game itself. Like, um, if you run into a guy and you kill him fast, you don't know if that's a human or a bot until you see the name after you kill him. And that's a really interesting concept because they've experimented with... Oh, wow. They've experimented with it. They've proved the point and stuff. And I think that... They, they could have just done it you know, like subtly in this game. Like, you know, one in six enemies is a bot, and therefore everyone gets to kill him. And that's why the guy is always going... There's actually no one in this game doing terrible, so this proves my point. But <laughs> that's why there'd be a guy going, you know, two and 13. Because you see that a lot, actually. You, you do quite see that. So uh, that, that's, that's something I think has either happened already, or it's going to happen. And there'll be a cool scandal, I think, because as, as the skill cap of people evolve, you need to either have the Titanfall system, where they're actually bots, or you have a, you know... A, whatever I think is going to happen system, where the bots are pretending to be humans. Which, oh, jeez, that... Did you see that guy's connection, where he was like, well, my, guy, my connection to him? Where he was bouncing in the sky and doing some crazy stuff? That was kind of wacky. So let's, let's try to get back on the killing wagon. I realize we've been running around and not really getting too many kills recently. I guess people have learned that I'm the silent assassin. And, oh, jeez, that maybe it's not working too well. It could be that. Or it could just be the lack of people. No, it's, it's not that either. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, if you're wondering, by the way, what my opinion on Black Ops 3 is, because I haven't actually played too much of it since the launch. I really like the zombies in this game, and I really like the multiplayer, but I think there comes a point where you realise, I've been playing this for seven years now, or six years, and uh, that's too much. So I, as much as I love playing this game, I love the wacky classes, it's not something I play too much outside of uh, videos and stuff. And just in case you're curious, that's the opinion there. So, uh, overall opinion on this gun, and overall opinion on uh, the Haymaker 12, it's a solid enough gun without the suppressor, with a long barrel, and with, like, extended mags. If you have the regular gun, it can be usable, and with the suppressor, it's very close to unusable. The, n the amount of kills in this game where I'm like, I'm so injustice, I deserve that. I got my four shots on, but it just wasn't a four-shot kill. Uh, it was kind of crazy, but the fact that I still had fun, I did pretty okay. Uh, also, do you notice how, like, the game was really close at, like, 70 points, and then they just went 30 points ahead? That's that's interesting, but yeah. Uh, it's, it's a great weapon. It's a great weapon for kill confirmed in theory, and uh, if you just want to be a silent assassin, what did I just do there? If you want to be a silent assassin, then I guess this is the uh, this is the gun for you. But if you don't want a, if you want a weapon that fires and kills in a, a decent amount of shots, probably you should pick any other gun in the game. So that's my opinion here. It's the weakest shotgun and it's the weakest weapon, but it still does have a use, uh, if only in teaching you how to position yourself rather than laying on your gun. So that's the Haymaker 12 right there. Um, I hope you did all enjoy the video. If you did like it, please do like it and let me know. Share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. If you do use this gun, I'd love to know in the comments down below what your experiences were with it. And besides that, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.